Welcome! On this episode of Cycling on a Shoestring, we sock it to my shoe cover conundrum. Hi, I'm John and welcome to Cycling on a Shoestring. And if you've watched any of my recent videos, you know that I've been looking for some new shoe covers. I've been on a quest to find some new ones to replace the ones I've had for almost uh, 25 years. And I actually did a couple of different reviews at opposite ends of the scale when it comes to price. You may have seen the review I did on Segoy shoe covers, which you can watch right here. They cost $60. And that review had a bit of a surprise ending and I had to send them back. And then I thought, well, let's go for the other end of the scale. Let's go for some cheapies. Well, you get what you pay for. I paid $7.59 for some cheap shoe covers. Uh, they just didn't do it. And actually, they refunded my money and didn't even want the shoe covers back. So this time, I thought I'd find something different and I ordered some new shoe covers. Took them about six weeks to get here. Temperature has gone up here in Southern Alberta. But I ordered these, and these are Seal Skins Waterproof All-Weather Cycle Over Socks. These are actually socks, and they say they're waterproof. I took them on a ride, but I thought what we do first is take a close look at these, and then you can decide whether socks on your shoes is something you want on those mucky days in the fall and early in the spring. We'll start off with an overview of the sock itself, and this is how they come, uh, basically with this card. There's nothing else that comes with it. Seal skins, waterproof, all-weather cycle over sock. And that is the key here more, most times when you buy shoe covers that are made out of neoprene or another material, but these are actually socks. So I'm gonna use this card for more information on what these are made of, uh, but first let's take a look at the sock inside and out, and then you can make a decision on whether this is something that you really like. I'm gonna actually show you a ride I went on yesterday and I did do this review just a little bit different. Generally I take a look at the product and then I test it but what I wanted to do is put them over my shoes and see how they you know wore in yesterday whether they stretched out or not uh, because I'm going to put them on my shoe in just a moment you can see how they go on. Uh, overall uh, pretty pleased with the ride I had yesterday but let's take a look at them. On the top you can see it's got seal skins around the top. Now this is not a reflective material up here from what I understand. Uh, down here on the bottom you do have this little seal so if you're out on a ride at nighttime, it will glow but there's nothing on the back of them uh, to glow so vehicles behind you aren't going to see you but they will see you from the side so that is a reflective material. Now looking at them I know it's awful hard to see black uh, but this is a woven material and it feels it's hard to actually describe how it feels. It's a little stiff uh, it's tough. It feels very, very strong. It doesn't feel like a wool stocking, and that's what I thought these were going to be like. In fact, I thought when I pulled them like this, you would actually see through them, but they are supposed to be waterproof, uh, so you don't see that when uh, you actually pull on them. And as you can see, they're very, very stretchy to go over your shoe. Now, the important part of shoe covers, and if you've ever had shoe covers, you know that uh, any water that gets in, gets in at the bottom uh, if your shoe covers are somewhat water resistant or waterproof. Water is going to get through on the bottom. It's just one of those things that happens. So here are the holes on the bottom. They're well stitched. Lots of stitching around the bottom so that they're tough because you're going to have to stretch them over your heel in this situation and of course around your cleat at the front. So they're very well stitched here as well and there is stitching in the toe just a little bit. Hard to see here uh, but they're really well put together. So they're very strong. Again hard to describe exactly how they feel but they feel very, very, very tough, okay? And that's good. I want something that's gonna to be tough if they're gonna go on my shoe and I'm gonna be stretching them and pulling them, trying to get them on. Now, as far as the outer on this, I'll just read off the uh, outside of this, of this card here. It says the outer is made out of 93% nylon and 7% elastane. okay? Now, I did turn one inside out, so you can see the inside and it does look different. It's got that gray look in there. There is a different material on the inside. Inside, it's 52% polyester, 27% cotton, and 21% elastane. What's really nice about this, and I was asking my wife to um, you know, basically translate what these mean, and that's when it comes to care, if you're going to use these and maybe wash them in the washer, because they're going to get dirty if you're out on sloppy days. So what she did was she told me that you wash them in cold water, 
you don't put them in a dryer and you don't iron them, okay? But if you look on here, well done to uh, seal skins, tumble dry, cool, or drip dry, okay? So you don't put them in a regular dryer on a hot setting. If you're gonna tumble dry them, you do them cool or you drip dry them. Now, I often say to people, anything that you wear while you're cycling that has any stretch in it, and I'm talking about uh, cycling shorts, okay? I never, ever put them in a dryer. I always drip dry them. I find that my shorts last a lot longer. So anything that's got any stretch in it, and I would even say the same thing when it comes to your cycling jerseys, because very often now, cycling jerseys have a rubber strip around the bottom of them so they don't slide up. That's going to deteriorate over time. I often say we have those lint filters on dryers, and when you pull that lint out, that's your clothing, uh, clothing drying a very, uh, dying a very slow death. Okay, so um, don't put them in the dryer. Let them drip dry, but you can throw them in the washer. So that's good to know uh, when they do get dirty. But they're different on the inside and the outside. Um, and I'm really pleased that the way they feel, they're very tough, a little softer on the inside. In fact, that's almost a fleece in there. So it's going to provide a little bit more warmth on the outside, a tough, tough material. If you look here, basically they uh, rate the uh, temperature that you're going to ride with these and it's kind of in the middle. Okay. Uh, not really cold days, not on warm days, kind of in the middle. Uh, when I'm wearing shoe covers, generally I start to wear them at three, four, five degrees. If it's five, I'm okay. Uh, my ride yesterday was five degrees or 41 Fahrenheit and down a little bit below zero. Otherwise, I'm wearing some winter cycling shoes when it gets really cold out there. And as you know, even on really cold days, if you're wearing the thickest socks and the best winter cycling shoes, after a while, your feet are going to get cold. So let's see how these fit. Let's put them over the shoe, see how they go on. When I did my Segoy review, I had a failure of that product right when I was putting them on. Let's try them on my uh, Shimano RC7 cycling shoes and see how they go on. So here's the shoe cover. Um, I've got the Seal Skins logo towards the outside. So this is my right foot. We're gonna slide it over here and it's got a four-way stretch on it. So what I found, and I've had these on my shoes a couple of times because I did ride with them yesterday and when I got them in, Several weeks ago, I got them, I put them away, but I had to try them on first to see if they were going to fit over my shoes. So let's see how they fit on there. And you kind of a bit of a technique, I think. I'm starting to learn the technique of putting these on. It's almost like a sock if you were putting it on um, on your foot, right? Um, when it comes to shoe covers, they're a little stiffer. And when it's neoprene, they're a little hard to scrunch up like this. But that's the way I would suggest you do this. And they fit very snug. Over top of your uh, over top of your foot, but you know what's really nice about them is they don't squeeze. And if you have tight shoe covers, can almost squeeze your foot inside, uh, even though um, it's a shoe cover and it's on the outside of your foot. So that's the thing that I notice. Now you slide them back, and they fit over, really really nice. Uh, it fits over the cleat, tr perfect, just perfect. Now you will notice that there's quite a large hole here on the back. Uh, when it comes to um, you know fitting through with the heel of your shoe. Now, I address that when I'm outside, so I'm going to go outside in just a second. I did do that ride yesterday. I address the sizing of these, and I also address the fact that when it comes to shoe covers, very often when you put them on, you end up walking on them because they're touching on the ground because they're thick. So I address that on the outside. But they come up pretty high, which is nice. So it's waterproof all the way up to here and they're snug, okay? They're very snug against your leg. Um, very often water is gonna get in the bottom. Uh, that's the problem with shoe covers. It's just one of those things. Unless you've got your shoe completely covered or you're wearing boots. If you've got cleats, water is going to get in. It's just gonna permeate underneath. I've had snow and ice under there at times. I've had to dig out of there, but they fit really nice. And I think they look really good. What I've uh, really uh, enjoyed about these is that they're different. They're not like other shoe covers. That's what I like about them. Let's go for a ride on these. Let's take a closer look at them. We'll look at the sizing as well. We'll find out how they feel on a day that's a little bit cool here in Alberta. Before I go out on the bike, I just wanted to 
kind of show you what they look like on my shoe and how they fit when it comes to walking on them because very often when it comes to shoe covers for cycling you'll end up walking on some of the material and you can damage them so we'll take a look at that in just a second now as far as sizing goes for these I ended up buying extra large which is for a size 47 to 49 European shoe that would be 13 to 15 in US sizing and the reason I did that is because I wear a 46 Shimano shoe and as I've said in this review of the RC seven Shimano shoe they run a little bit wider than other shoes uh, so I did buy the uh, the extra large in a 47 to 49 where I wear a 46 shoe uh, to see if they would fit properly and I think they're just perfect so let's take a quick look at them and then we'll head out on the road and see how they feel on a day where the temperature is about five degrees Celsius 41 Fahrenheit Okay, so you can see the shoe um, and what it looks like on there. Now, I do wear black shoes, so I think they look really nice on there. And I'm pretty pleased with the way uh, they do fit. They don't feel snug. Even when you're wearing shoe covers, if you uh, buy them a little bit too small, they can actually squeeze your feet too much. These don't do that at all. They're very stretchy, but they do fit snug. Now, I don't know that you can see that, but you can see on the back of the shoe, there's extra space there for your heel to go down. So I'm not feeling any material touching on the ground below the actual oversock here so I'm not going to wear these out by walking on them which is, is good news as well uh, taking a look at the other one you can see I've actually got the sock over top of my tights here and just to give you an idea of how far they come up on the leg so it's pretty significant up your leg uh, so if you're going to get any splashing when you're out on wet or rainy days uh, that should cover you pretty good uh, taking a look at the bottom of the shoe let's see if I can do this so you can see this and you can see how they fit over the cleats uh, very nice just the right size to go over the cleat uh, not too much uh, shown through there to allow water in and again you can take a look at that heel hole there it allows your heel to get through so you can put your foot down on the ground and you're not going to be walking on the material let's take these for a ride I've been riding along for about 50 minutes with the seal skins over socks on and so far even on a cool day, it's about five degrees, 41 Fahrenheit. My feet are toasty warm. You know what I like about them is they're very form fitting to my shoe. So they're not flapping in the wind. And at 55, I need all the help I can for aerodynamics, if you know what I mean. And I think they look really great. So let's take a close look at them right now as I'm riding along here, east of Calgary. they look fantastic I I really like them I know a lot of you are probably by light colored shoes people but I always seem to buy black shoes or darker colored shoes so these are perfect same color as my shoes black and white they look terrific they fit tight and they clip in fantastic. I'm about 10k from finishing up my ride and so far I'm really pleased with these over socks I think they're terrific uh, it's not a terribly cool day but cool enough to get kind of cold feet anytime you're on your bike you don't want cold feet because the rest of your body will be cold as well but so far I am absolutely thrilled with these over socks from seal skins now as you can see pretty dry day there's not a puddle to be found unless you're looking in the irrigation canal over there and I'm not about to go ride through there so I could only think of one way to test out whether these over socks are waterproof so I was thinking about getting a hose and spraying my shoes uh, with water but when I came home my wife said if you were wearing your cycling shoes with just a pair of socks underneath and you stuck it in a puddle would your feet get wet? 
I said, absolutely. She said, stick your foot into a bucket of water to see if they're waterproof. So here we go. Get my foot in there. There we go. All right, so let's pull it out. Now, I definitely feel water inside my shoe. Absolutely, I do. I mean, this is, this is about as extreme as you're gonna get, and water is gonna get in through where the cleat is, but my inside of my shoe right now, it's soaked, absolutely soaked. So, I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna take this off, and we'll see what my shoe looks like, all right? But my foot is wet right now, absolutely. Uh, now, would it be wet if I was just getting spray up from the road? Uh, that was an extreme thing, but you can see on the inside of it, it's not terribly wet right there. And it's not on the top of my foot. Like, look at my shoe. It is dry on top of my shoe. But where water always gets in on shoe covers is from below where your cleat is. And that's exactly what happened. The water went through the bottom of my shoe, but the top of my foot, for the most part, other than when I wiped it right here when I took it off, my top of my shoe is absolutely dry, but the water did get in from underneath, and that's where it always gets in when you're wearing shoe covers. So my suggestion to you is that uh, if you're wearing these out on the road, water will get in eventually on the bottom of your foot, but it's not going to make you too wet on top because if you look at the inside of the sock, we'll turn it completely inside out for you here, where it's the bottom of it is wet on the inside but not the top of it, and that's where it is on the top. So the water went directly through the holes on the bottom and got my uh, uh, sock wet inside of my shoe. So um, are they waterproof? I would say they are um, on the top, but water is gonna get in on the bottom. I do believe that 100%, that you're gonna get some water in on them. But this was an extreme situation here. Uh, when is the next time you're gonna be on your bike, you're gonna dip it into a bucket of water. So overall, I think these are a pass when it comes to waterproof. Definitely waterproof, but water's gonna get in on the bottom. So how do I feel about the Seal Skins waterproof oversocks? I love them. And like I said earlier on in this video, I love them because they're different. They're socks you put over your shoes and they're waterproof as well. Because you know, when I did that review on those Segoy uh, shoe covers they weren't waterproof they were just water resistant and of course those cheap uh, shoe covers i did weren't water resistant at all water went right inside of them so i think these are outstanding and if you're somebody who does wear darker shoes i always wear black shoes putting them over your shoes you hardly even know you're wearing them and they look really good as well very pleased with these i'd buy these in a minute and i paid 55 dollars for them okay so they weren't 750 like the cheap shoe covers and they weren't 60 dollars like the more expensive water resistant segoy shoe covers they're at 55 dollars but i do look at these as a bit of an investment because i really only wear these for several weeks in the fall until it gets really cold when i put on my winter shoes and then when it starts to melt in the spring i put these on as well and it's starting to get warmer and when it gets into those uh, six seven eight ten degrees and above i'm not wearing shoe covers at all so these will be used in the fall in the spring and then you forget about them till the next time i think these are going to last a long time very durable a great product i highly suggest you pick these up if you're looking for some over socks thank you very much for watching i do appreciate it please uh, click on uh, subscribe ring the bell as well so you'll get notifications of upcoming reviews i appreciate you if you are a subscriber as, as well thank you very much for that if you've liked this video and it's been helpful please give me a thumbs up share the uh, channel as well that'd be terrific i'd like to get those subscribers up even more i'll see you next time on cycling on a shoestring